tuned? I think it's telling us it's time for Gal's Weekly Digest. And the word for this week, ambassador. Ambassador. What or who do you conjure up in your mind when I say the word ambassador? Here's a name I think, well, I know some of you may have to Google this name. Madam Ambassador Shirley Temple, who was not only a child actor who won an Oscar at the age of six, but also an ambassador representing the United States in the country of Guyana and the Czech Republic. Now getting to what an ambassador does, I'm speaking in the business sense because we here at Financial Markets, indeed, we do have ambassadors. And the characteristics that our successful ambassadors hold are as follows, just a couple here. Our ambassadors are very adept at communication and have the ability to network like a professional. This communication is between our client, the agent, who we represent as their ambassador, and the insurance carrier. Our ambassadors have a wealth of knowledge of each insurance carrier, as well as appreciation of each carrier's systems. Our ambassadors possess the ability to set priorities and keep business flowing. Our ambassadors possess the ability to negotiate and continually show an authentic passion for representing you. Being an effective ambassador is dependent upon their effective communication skills, which can influence the issuance of a policy done in an effective and efficient manner. Yes, we know our ambassadors represent financial markets in our ideals. It is their interaction with our clients, the agent, and their behavior and their attitude that shows authentic concern for the ideas, needs, and feelings of our agents. Ambassador, representing others to others. And how about a little cowboy wisdom to put some light on the subject for today, Ambassador? Well, let's see if some cowgirl wisdom will help. Enthusiasm backed up by horse sense is the quality that most frequently makes for success. This brings us to some South Dakota trivia. Ambassador, representing others to others. Where is this done in South Dakota? Well, this one comes to mind. It's located East River around Sioux Falls. It is the Eros Center. It's where they study land change and produce land change data used by researchers, resource managers, and policymakers across the nation and around the world. Eros also operates the Landstat satellite program with NASA and maintains the largest civilian collection of images of the Earth, including tens of millions of satellite images. Ambassador right here in South Dakota, Eros representing others, good mother Earth to others. And what does the Book of Wisdom the Bible say about ambassador. So I'm thinking particularly of the New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. God making his appeal through us, we implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. You know, as we stroll down life's path, there are certain events and words even that stay with us. One such word for me is the word for today, ambassador. In 2009, I, a naturalized citizen of these United States of America, whose adoptive father was from South Dakota, had the privilege to represent the United States and the state of South Dakota on a cultural and business exchange in South America to the country of Suriname. The first day that we arrived in Suriname, we were escorted to the U.S. Embassy. After exchanging our currency for Suriname dollars, we met with the U.S. Ambassador and covered in detail on how upon receiving these pins right here, that we're acting as an ambassador for the United States of America. He went through a list of cultural and business protocols we were to follow. 
We also covered certain topics that were off limits. By the way, no cameras were allowed in the embassy. We had to leave them at security. Now Suriname is a big producer of bauxite, which we make our aluminum from, Alcoa aluminum. Also, they are very close ge <coughs> geographically wise to Venezuela and the Amazon River runs through it. What a wonderful group of people and culture. Their language is Dutch, but many speak English. The third day, we did a meet and greet and had a private meeting with the president of Suriname covering business. There's a little catch here. All my luggage didn't arrive. So I had to buy this suit in the country of Suriname to be in proper attire to meet the president of that country, an ambassador representing others to others. So let's go to the financial markets website, fmiagent.com, and look at some of the others we represent. The premier carrier I'm picking up today is John Hancock and how they use their ambassadors. At the financial markets website, I'm going to click on to agent tools. Then the column sales and marketing, I'm going to go down to products. From products, I'm going to go down to the category premier life carriers and let's click on to the John Hancock logo. Using news as I do as my resource, I'm going to click onto the tab all there in the corner. I'm looking for April 8th, entitled Motivating Clients to Take Action. Here we have an ambassador system of the podcast John Hancock does monthly, where ambassadors come in and provide resources and ideas and explore ways that John Hancock is an excellent fit for that particular need. Now, John Hancock has provided a couple of avenues to be able to listen to this podcast and others, each on their own, so I can click onto that tab entitled Media Resources to listen to, or I could subscribe through Apple and Google. This ambassador is going to help us explore how to avoid stalled sales and client procrastination with the goal of shortening the sales cycle and help clients make a decision faster with less effort. The speaker will identify the point in time or the probability of when a sale is at its highest, uncover reasons why clients decide not to act and how to anticipate them, and understand the importance of client goals this speaker looks at the sales cycle this way. He looks at it as a compass, north, east, south, and west. Each title, north, satisfied, aware, fixed, and options. Now, sometimes advisors will identify a problem and immediately start presenting options, but the client may not be in the same page. Some clients do not move on the advice provided their advisors because they don't believe the problem is big enough to fix or that the recommendation given by the advisor will work. As we move clockwise around the compass, it will help us identify if a client is satisfied with their current situation. Are they aware they even have a problem if one exists? Have they decided that they want to fix the problem? And are they ready to explore options if they do? The compass helps your client navigate change. If you have not included podcasts as a media resource to help you better in your station in life, you need to start today. And one of them would be John Hancock Talks. They are very good. Pick the time to listen, but it needs to be in your toolbox. Be sure to contact one of your ambassadors, your internal wholesaler, on how to set up John Hancock's talk. What a valuable resource. We are here, we are here, we are here for you. We are your ambassadors. Knowing that we are Christ's ambassadors, God making his appeal through us, 
and having the confidence, the confidence of GP for you, God's plan for you. They're great. And blessed are they who ease the pain of misfortune, for they shall be called insurance agents, ambassadors. You take care.